Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can get this look and also how I do my own DIY. So first I'm going to start with my Aunt Jackie's so in like control see, conditioner as well as my Aussie Moist. I'm going to get a good amount into my mixing bowl. And next I'm going to use my Beautiful Textures Curl Control Defining Pudding and also add that. I also like to add some cholesterol from Proclaim, I usually get it from Sally's. And this is my favorite leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. And of course, I can't forget my coconut oil. So add that and then mix all the products together. So now my hair is freshly washed and I have conditioner left in my hair. So now I'm going to use my DIY deep conditioner that I made and apply that to the whole section. So be generous with the amount of conditioner that you use. You want to make sure you coat each strand equally. So I like to split my hair into sections just to make it easier to detangle. Remember when you're detangling to start at the ends and then work your way up to the root. So now that I've detangled that entire section, it's time for me to um, twist my hair up into a little bun and move on to the next section. So my hair is rinsed out and I've had it in um, just a big t-shirt. So I'm going to start by adding my um, extra virgin olive oil to my entire head. I'm going to do the same thing and just apply my coconut oil. Next I'm going to add my Shea Moisture Detangling Leave-In Conditioner to my entire head and just work that in. Next I'm going to add my Beautiful Textures Curl Control Pudding. So I added all my products to my hair and it just got a little dry so I'm adding some water using my spray bottle. I'm going to clip some of my hair away and take a small section. So I made this flaxseed gel. I'll add the details in the description box but I'm going to use that as my styler and um, just work that into this section. You know I can't forget my Eagle Styler, so I'm going to just take a nice um, amount of that and apply it to my whole section. So I'm just going to work the gel in, trying to get my curls to clump up. So I'm just going to do the same thing in the next section. I'm going to add my flaxseed gel and then add my Eagle Style gel. So now I'm at the front and I'm going to just split this section into two just to make it easier to work with. So 
So the front of my hair has always been my problem area. I know a lot of people struggle with this problem. So it's always a little harder for me to get my hair to scrunch up in the front. So I'm going to just start by adding my flaxseed gel and working that in. And then I'm going to add my Eco Styler. So in the front, I just like to scrunch my hair up just to get my curls popping. Because you see, we having a few problems here. So now I'm going to move on to the next section. Just do the same exact thing. So now my whole head is done. I like to just shake it. I don't know why I always shake my hair after I do a wash and go. I just like how it falls. So now I'm gonna just let it dry. So my hair was about 80% dry at this point and I just took my diffuser and mainly diffused my roots just so that it didn't get too frizzy. So I always bend my head forward because I just like it just creates more volume when I do it this way and diffuse at the roots. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my coconut oil and just put that all over. So of course I'm going to go on my curls control paste because it's the best edge control ever. So this is the look I got. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So you guys, this is what I got. I hope y'all liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.